friends, welcome back to my channel. I am the Soap Chef here on this channel where we make all things with a rather good lather. I thought I would throw up a very, very quick little video today on how to sanitize your equipment and containers because I just got another big load full of containers in. I'm gonna be in body butter and sugar scrub land coming up in another couple of days here. So I have a huge box that just came in from container and packaging. And this is what I like to do beforehand. Um, I just go ahead and do my, my cleaning and my sanitizing. And then after they're all dry, I stick them in a really, really big bag. This is the big bag. I mean, it's huge. It's a huge, big bag. But rather than leaving them sitting in the box that they came in, which is also really huge, um, everything will be clean and sanitized stick it in the bag, close up the bag, and then when I get ready to use them, all I have to do then is just give it a little spritz of alcohol and a quick wipe. And so that just gives me peace of mind that I'm being compliant and doing my GMPs, my good manufacturing practices, which we all should be doing anyways. But I thought I would throw this up here really quick to uh, let you guys know how to go about doing that. Get yourself some of these. They're called Steramine tablets. You can get these at any restaurant supply um, store, which is where I get mine. I believe you can buy these online at Amazon. I'm, I'm fairly sure, but I have a local restaurant supply place, so I just get mine here. The tablets look like this. It's just one teeny small little blue tablet. And you're going to, I've already done it as you can see because this water is blue, but what you do is you have one gallon of water for one tablet, and that will give you the 200 parts per million which is required by the health department to be compliant. Um, and so we should all start to do that. If we haven't already been doing it, we should at least start to try to do that because it's coming. If you make uh, and sell cosmetics, it's coming, y'all. It's gonna be a couple of years, but it is coming. Okay, that's how you make that. So I already, I have one gallon here, which is my washing bin. I have one gallon of water here, which is my rinsing bin. And then I have my one gallon here of my sanitizing solution. I also have a sanitizing solution in a bottle here because I use that to spray down my table and sometimes my equipment. It's the same exact sanitizing solution in the same strength. So basically what I'm gonna do, these are some of my leftover containers that I still have from the last time that I had to place an order, but we'll go ahead and do it again here. So to my one gallon of my washing liquid, I add a half a teaspoon of the Dawn detergent to this, and that's my washing solution. This is just plain water, obviously. So basically all you're gonna do, because they're already clean, I've already done this, but we're gonna do it again. So basically all you do, just stick your containers in your washing solution. Only fit so many. I think that's about it right there. So stick them in here, give them a little toss around. Take it out. Give it a dunk in your rinsing liquid. I usually give it a good two dunks. Give it a dunk in your sanitizing solution. And then I have a sheet tray over here. That is, now the sheet tray also has been sanitized. And then I put down some butcher paper underneath. And then I put my paper towels on the top. And as each one of my containers or vessels gets done, then I go ahead and put it on there. So again, you're just gonna wash them, rinse them, give them a dunk in your sanitizing solution. One more time and then I'll just move on on my own to finish up the rest. I don't have a whole lot left with um, the remainders of what I, I had from my last order. There's just a few, but I have a whole big, huge box that I need to do. So I thought, let me just get those done today, get them out of the way, and then they'll be ready for whenever I'm ready to use them, which is going to be, again, coming up in the next couple of days these bigger containers, I use these. For, I have two different types of sugar scrubs that I make. One is a foaming sugar scrub, and one is a shea butter emulsified. They're both emulsified, actually. 
but um, I use different size containers for each one of those so that I can differentiate which ones are my foaming ones and which ones are just the regular sugar scrubs with no foaming action. So these bigger containers here, they're taller. Um, so they are for the foaming. And then I have low profile ones that I use for the shea butter ones. All right, that's all of the big ones and that's all that I have in here. So move those aside. And that's all I do, you guys. Here's my containers that I'm just going to let sit here and dry. So they've already been washed and sanitized now twice. <laughs> once on my own and once on camera for you all. That's as simple as it is, you guys. That's how you sanitize your containers or your equipment. And I do mean everything. If I'm going to use that to melt my butters, it needs to be cleaned and sanitized. What about that? Got to do that. How about my whisk that I'm going to be using later? Everything needs to be cleaned and sanitized. Now, optimally, this is not how I would normally do it because there's not a whole lot of room here in these buckets. But it still does get the job done. And then we're going to do our whisk. I got to do each side individually because it is way too big to fit into this container. And that's it, you guys. That's how you clean and sterilize your equipment, all of your tools, your containers, bottles, sprayers, whatever it is. It's just as simple as going out to your local restaurant, supply chain, store, go up on Amazon. I believe you can find these also at Home Depot and Lowe's, I'm fairly sure. Get yourself some of these, one tablet to one gallon of water. I have one gallon of each thing, right? Cleaning, rinsing, sanitizing. And that's it. That's as simple as it is. Hope you guys found this helpful and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me, please. It helps to get my video out in front of more people that may be uh, needing a little bit of help or have questions about just how you go about cleaning or sanitizing. All right, you guys, until we meet again, you know the drill. Be kind, stay humble, and make your own good choices.